to dinner invitations by newness of life ministries www.trcb.me slash noel and although you were formerly alienated and hostile in mind engaged in evil deeds yet he has now reconciled you in his fleshly body through death in order to present you before him holy and blameless and beyond reproach if indeed you continue in the faith firmly established and steadfast and not moved away from the hope of the gospel that you have heard which was proclaimed in all creation under heaven Colossians 1 21-23 today's proverb is a repeat of Proverbs 9 to 4 whoever is Navi let him turn and hear to him who lacks understanding she says the words in verse 4 and verse 16 are identical. The source of the words are different. In verse 4, these are the words of Lady Wisdom. In verse 16, these are the words of a harlot. Once you become a Christian, you can be given good advice and choose not to follow it. It happens millions of times each day. Before finding Christ, you were engaged in evil deeds, guided by the winds of the world. After finding Christ, it is still possible to listen to the old ways and move away from the hope of the gospel. Proverbs 9, teaches us today? Your article could be in this broadcast. Visit trcb.com to find out how. Proverbs 9 to 16 16, whoever is Navi, let him turn and hear, and to him who lacks understanding she says. Psalm 73 21 24 21 when my heart was embittered and I was pierced within 22 then I was senseless and ignorant I was like a beast before thee 23 nevertheless I am continually with thee thou hast taken hold of my right hand 24 with thy counsel thou wilt guide me and afterward receive me to glory today's question you are invited to two dinners on the same day and at the same time. The invitations are virtually worded the same. Which do you choose? Christians are confronted with this dilemma all the time. Do you go where you can get some wholesome feeding or do you go where the temptations of the world might be the greatest? How do you decide? Do not be bound together with unbelievers. For what partnership have righteousness and lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? Or what harmony has Christ with Belial? Or what has a believer in common with an unbeliever? Or what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For we are the temple of He living God. Just as God said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. 2 Corinthians 6, 14-16 you choose on the basis of who invites you. If God invites you, follow him. If a Christian invites you, go with him. If the person is of good reputation and good character, go to him. Go with the wise and stay away from folly. Dear God, help me to choose well and lead me not into temptation. Amen. The Newness of Life Daily Bible Message is designed for those who like to take a short respite from the day's responsibilities to enjoy the contemplation of God's Word. This daily message is based primarily upon the belief that to read some of Proverbs and some of Psalm every day will provide us with great spiritual growth and development when done consistently with discipline. Philip Saxton and contribute to Newness of Life Ministries NOL Philip Saxton, www.newnessoflife.com Visit trcb.com for more great articles like this now. Music by Kevin McLeod.